Well then, here we are with Frank and Drake. I do not know much about this game. I do like to go in rather blind for games. But this is a game where you play as two roommates. Um, it's Frank in the day and Drake at night. And we will see how this goes. Okay, giving us control already, I like that. Hmm. The two in one, to remind you how short time is and how loose your pants are. I like that. Your gut says no. Your rational side says yes. Ask again later. A rusty old bike wheel. We have controls. going on here? Okay. Last night's adventures featured me sitting on top of a wind winding dune on a scorching sunny day. Then it seemed to dissolve into me sitting on the edge of a dock on a rainy night. I can't see what I'm looking at. The sunlight hinders my sight, and at night the heavy rain does the same. What was I looking at? Why at night? It must be due to the extreme fatigue from my daily activities. The only thing I remember is Ham talking non-stop. I couldn't hear a word she said. The silence. Pitch black. The sound of people crying. Different sobs coming from the darkness. I feel like I can't get enough air into my lungs. The little that enters burns like fumes from a tire fire. What a terrible night. Okay. First there was a mission, then something happened and you crossed the line. You took someone from us. That person was about to change the world. We need to find him. Only you know where. My right, no, left eye hurts at night. I can't control or increase my stamina. Ham's happy with me. Linda is helping me out with Sophia and Jerry. Underdog's health is under control. Unravel the message. Now that's a fancy flyer. 
Want to know what's hiding in your subconscious? The Pillar Reader, with more than 40 years of experience, will guide you through the intricate world of dreams to find the key. Call now. 934-0005214. Sweet dreams, happy life. Bug out, keep your own best free. Frank. Hmm. I don't know if I'm fucking up the controls or if the game won't let me open it yet. Seems the lack. The same bike wheel? Cash or no, menus. He's collecting a lot of things. On the first floor, we've got these two. Second floor, these. Third floor, me. And somebody else. Very interesting way of showing the player what they can collect. Different from the usual yellow paint, a lot more creative and visually unique, I think. The art really comes to life when you see it in motion. This is the kind of game that doesn't look as impressive in screenshots, but in game, this art is really incredible, actually. Hi, Frankie Han. How are you, love? And how's Undead Dog? That grizzled old tail wagger. I'm. I can't read that close. I, un in Undead Dog is what I in, I'm reading anyway. <laughs> but if that is the name, then that's a very strange name for a dog. We'll find out. I think. Everything going smoothly in the building? Is there something to sign? Anything that needs buying? The fact that I keep quiet most of the time has nothing to do with indifference, but with my complete trust in you. You do your job diligently, and you're always ready to shoulder more responsibility. I'm proud of what you've accomplished despite your situation. Keep in mind what we recall during our life is nothing but mental reconstructions, collages of how things were and how things are now. They are distorted and unreliable. Just stories to suit the self. But you're writing new stories and forming new collages, just from a different starting point. You'll be just fine. But maybe you've noticed I'm kind of beating around the bush. I have some news for you. I'm sorry for the short notice, but you're going to have to make space for a new roommate. Drake already has a set of keys and arrives tonight. Rest assured, you sh two shouldn't butt heads, since you will probably never bump into each other. Drake only works night shifts. Remember, my dear Frank, several things in life liberate the heart and lead to lasting peace. Making friends is one of them. The others, well, I think you have them covered. Listen to this old coffin dodger. I feared these things the hard way, or I learned these things the hard way. One last thing. Your new roomie specifically asked for a bedroom with no windows. Namaste, Ham. 
Okay, so that's Ham. Our landlord, I'm guessing? Your job. Choose or make space, which is locked in the demo. Alright, what have we got down here in the bottom left? Connection with Drake. Interesting. Looks like we have trackers, which would be perhaps this game's version of uh, getting a good ending or a completion. Can't interact with the dog just yet. Let's let's check this out. Goat flakes. Coffee. Dear Dairy. <laughs> oh, dear Dairy. You have one day left before things get sour over here. Is that going to be the kind of thing we track throughout the game? The vital importance of the sourness of the one carton of milk in our fridge. Don't get me wrong, I'm liking the game thus far. Everything in its place. You sometimes mistake your coat rack for an intruder. So it's just a natural step to start listening to advice from cartoon animals in clothes. I'll go first. Be careful around your new roommate. Yeah, he's right. Due to your situation, you can easily be taken advantage of. Get to know him better, even if you won't get a chance to meet him in person. We all know it's about time you start making real flesh and blood friends. Flesh and blood? I wonder if our fella here is a bit of an online guy, talking about making real flesh and blood friends. What is going on here? That is strange. <laughs> Sorry, I don't have anything of value to add. Or did you just come for the popcorn? Right, so by flesh and blood of friends, they're talking about the fact that all of his friends seem to be inanimate objects. I thought it was just the cereals and the foodstuffs. But uh, no, that makes sense. No, maybe it would be healthy for him to get another friend. Even if that friend is a bit of a... Uh, dangerous character, according to Ham, at least. I don't know. I have a soft spot for uh, people like Drake, at least from what I've seen. That was a weird sounding piss. can help you with your eyes, your heart, and even your brain. Who knows? Maybe I'm the answer to all your problems. Imagine if it were this simple. Didn't you forget something this morning? I'm perfect for these kind of games because I narrate all of the things in my house with different voices as well.
Hmm. More color. What's more important, dear? Being a good Samaritan and having to go to a laundromat every now and then? Or playing it by the book? Just to let you know, there's children in that building. Hmm. So he collects flyers. Hmm, you look familiar. I think I'll be more useful to you upstairs at home. You don't know having a housemate is going to clash with your control freak tendencies. Seems like, yeah, that's gonna be the case. Wanna work on that memory of yours with this gorgeous Bavarian deck of cards? Wonder if these are things that, um, that Frank has collected in a past time for losing memories. Doesn't seem like it because he's still collecting things, but. Hmm. Ah, so I'm the janitor? Janitorial checklist. So, I can only do one. Still can't seem to go anywhere. I say we're vibrating in that same strange way, but we can't be clicked. Aha. The uh, scrubber. Now we can remove vandalism. Oh, there we are. Yeah, I think we've seen each other before. Do I belong to the graffiti messenger? Who so happens to be someone you know? There we go. And here we are. Look, just like your mind, a dam with swirling bits of information that have yet to settle. And in the middle of the storm, a house with no light. Is it vacant or is it filled with ghosts? Who knows? 
matters. My mind keeps wandering to that lost and found box on my desk down in the basement. The thought that at some moment in time it was filled with things worth searching for. But now with the remains, the lost mitten, empty disposable lighter, broken umbrella, will remain inside that box, accumulating dust and fading deeper, deeper into the land of oblivion. A bit like my memory, right? Someone or something took all my precious possessions and left only the useless stuff. Everything I need, everything that me as an individual was taken away from me. My real name, knowing if I'm alone in the world or not, if I was good at something. Yeah, I love projecting my thoughts onto objects. It makes me feel less lonely and provides some sense of control. Fake but comforting, like most things in life. Pam insists this is an opportunity to be someone better. Perhaps she knows more about me than she's letting on and I'm better off in the dark. So what if this is the second chance? But then again, what good is a second chance if I don't know what went wrong the first time? What would stop me from making the same mistakes all over again? I feel like some soul snatcher switched mine with a bogus one that can't quite blend in. And my real soul is out there, who knows where, trying to find his way home. Each day for the past 52 weeks, I gathered random thoughts that don't even feel like my own. From dreams, glitches in my mind, new smells, anything I could retrieve and note down that would help me in the process. All for nothing. I never left square one. Anyway, I can't complain. Could always be worse, so... Today, I got some big news from Ham. Someone is coming to live with Underdog in me. Okay, Underdog, not Undead Dog. That's, uh, that sounds better. An underdog certainly is an underdog. Didn't do any crosswords yet. There's something I need to do here. Oh, there's more to write. The only thing I can tell you is that Drake, name of my new roommate, works night shifts and wants a room with no windows. Strange request. Now I feel bad I didn't prepare the room for Drake and shutter that window. I don't even know what's in there, but I'm sure it would have taken every bit of my limited energy. I chose to work instead. On top of everything else, I discovered there was another building stealing, and I was about to put a stop to it when I found some of its tenants or a, bit, a family with a newborn baby. I just couldn't do it, so now the building has no laundry. I hope no one complains before I can find a solution. Then I had to scrub off more of that ominous graffiti. Something is off. Whoever's doing it must know I'm the one who cleans it, so they might be targeting. And they forgot a strange necklace with this weirdly familiar wooden ornament. I've copied all the graffiti down in my diary, but I still can't make any sense of it. Linda from 2A is an ex-cop, which is always a likely source of enemies. Plus, she works night shifts and comes home every morning. Could it be for her? One last thing before I go that deserves mentioning. It's been a year since I woke up in this alley and began a new life. Thanks to Ham's, uh, Ham's kindness. Happy birthday to me. Good night. So, two outlined thingies. You can choose to copy one down into pad. I wonder why. Notes. Something important. What's more important to us? I feel like for me the graffiti is more important. I can only take one. So this Drake character, I wonder, is he doing the same job as me? 
Frank. What is this? Take a step into the shoes of someone completely different. Oh yeah. Strix Varia? Pyto Alba? I cannot read these. No, definitely Axio Otis. I feel like Theseus in the maze about to confront Theseus. Of course, Theseus in the maze about to confront the beast. I've been playing a lot of Hades. I should know that. I like it. I know Ali's got a bad rap, but this one seems very well kept. Come on, Drake. What more do you require than a roof over your head? Prepare to declutter your life and have nothing to lose but your genius. Great. Top floor sans elevator. My predicament can't get any worse. Hey man, it's not all that bad. Free exercise. Obviously, it can. In this odorous orange gas? Well, the dog seems fine, so it can't be toxic. Maybe Frank employs the use of unusual incenses to ward off bad energy like Mother used to. Wonder what Drake knows about Frank. Okay, so we're picking notes that we pass over to the other. Hi, my name's Frank. That furry thing with wheels is Underdog. I'm the super. Pam told me you work nights, so we probably won't meet in person. There's a sticky note indicating your room. All the rooms have windows, but that one opens to a brick wall. Doesn't get much light. Sorry your room's a mess, but you must have the night off. But you'll be free to do it your way. Work nights. Or have the night off. Bit rude to assign my free time to specific chores, isn't it? And by mess, he probably means human made uber chaos. Very impolite. Distant but curious is our connection with Frank. Beautiful graphic. Drake's room. The key is somewhere in the library. Crosswords. Hmm. Okay. It seemed like, I mean, we can't write here. It's just allowing us to click. Not drag. Hmm. 
Frank doesn't talk to inanimate objects. Oh, we can click and drag. Oh, that's very cool. Wow. Hello. Here it is. It's my sticking, stepping stone to something bigger. Films. Well, that went way faster than I was expecting. What was that? I felt it like it was right here next to me. It must have been a loud TV from next door. Although there was no photo of the tenant from apartment 3B. This song's a real gas. Come here, doll. Let's cut a rug. Where did that voice come from? Who turned on the radio? This place is getting weirder by the minute. Weird things happen at night, man. Strange sleep schedule. Maybe he's as old as the dog and the whole building is, in fact, a nursing home. Or a poor version of the Bramford. Hope they don't die on my watch. Oh, my stars and garters. Waterbeds do exist. And lava lamps. This was once someone's room. I'm in shock. I work in a bar in the middle of nowhere at night, but this is too much. Need to take care of this window before it becomes a problem. <laughs> well, that may be the best you can do. Especially working in the middle of the night. Hey man, you get a free lava lamp. Pretty cool. Hmm. What's vibrating other than the arrow? And there's a leak. Apparently, Rock Bottom has a basement. Yeah. Hey, we fixed the problem. -ish. What else can we do to fix our room? Well, hello! This room is full of surprises. Can at least one of them be good? I mean, that's pretty fucking cool, man. You just found a free gun. Guess the movie. I wonder if there's any purpose to being able to click and drag this around. Guess not. Yeah, man. Overheard in old chestnut. There is no meaning of life. You don't say. Wearing socks to bed is a good idea. Why? It's okay to fart in front of your significant other, no comment. <laughs> Bits of party of soul. It is a curious thing, the death of a loved one. It is like walking up the stairs to your bedroom in the dark and thinking there is one more stair than there is. Your foot falls down through the air and there is a sickly moment of dark surprise as you toy and read just the way you thought of things. 
as you try and read Lemony Snicket Horseradish. First creature of the night, Asio Otis, long-eared owl. Historically nestled in this re nested in this region, but no breeding birds have been seen in a number of years. Nothing here. Feeling good, no need yet. Okay. No need to drink. I hate it when I have to use this. Hmm. The all night pay to get out killer animal movie marathon. Even though it's a perk rather than a legal right, I'm taking the day off from my move. I'll let the boss know tomorrow. Today's loud tonight. Seems like we only have to collect the uh, lit up ones. This looks like one of those hobo symbols. Guess we didn't get this one. I'm guessing we need to get this one last. There's a different tone there. No, it's always just the fifth one. not letting me escape. I have to figure this out. But game, I really have no idea what you want me to do. Perhaps we're not allowed to cross the, the cross ones, then that would make sense because I'm not. There were there were two previous puzzles, but both of them were extremely easy. You could solve them without really understanding the puzzle's methods. And this puzzle doesn't... It, it just jumps straight to a difficulty where you don't understand the parameters of the puzzle. Connect the white circles in one single trace, keeping the white empty circles inside your shape and the crossed circles outside of it. Okay. So we need to keep the white circles, or rather the empty circles, inside. I'm pretty sure this is what I tried the very first time. Huh, apparently not. Hey Drake, what's happening? 
In the evening when the sun goes down, oh, you'll find me hanging around. No more standing there besides the walls. Enough beating around the bush now. Here to tell you on behalf of your mama that things ain't what they used to be. No, no. Checking trouble, sure moving down the line for you. Bet you're wondering how I know. Right through the grapevine, fella. Who you once as a little baby and now we're here face to face. If you ever need a helping hand, I'll be there on the double just as fast as I can. And remember, you've got what it takes. Time to keep on dancing, cause this boy is always on the road. Bless up. Okay, now I'm 100% sure what I inhaled back in the apartment was acid. Did Marvin Gaye's ghost just speak to me? What I need right now is the cacophony of raucous laughter from a room full of people mixed with the screeching sound of people fleeing giant ants. Sounds good, man. Let's uh, go in that building. That'll wake up any dormant drugged soul. Inside. Need to find the perfect spot to do, to do some people watching. Maybe I can pick up some new slang to help me fit in better. Excellent. Did I just see the ghost of a redneck with a gun? Now it's going to be opening of the Emperor. It's a road of panorama. Frankel like this. Anything we can interact with here? I always wanted to see those rooms with big analog projectors. Hope there's one left and they weren't all swapped out for PCs to play files and not films. Yes, I also suffer from that in that in infliction called nostalgia, where you bury yourself in the past to keep you from the truth of your present and the pain of reality. I find it quite the cozy mind space. Whoops. I can't believe it, I hit the jackpot here. This room is frozen in time. Oh shit! Redneck hillbilly ghost. <sighs> Gun pointer. Who are you? And what are you trying to say? What am I looking at here? A bunch of stuff. Guess the movie. Look, there is Cesar. Never ask him to tell your fortune. It will mean death for you. Francis. So if we meet someone called Cesar, don't ask him to tell our fortune. What's this? Film reel something. Photo real. There's stuff on here, is what the ghost says. There's stuff we can find. You find enough stuff, you can complete the game. Is there anything under here? Not that I have seen. Not yet.
What is it in human nature that makes people quick to laugh when someone else gets slapped, whether the slap be spiritual, mental, or physical? Guessing we've found everything there is to find in this room. Double check. More collectible items. Seems like we found everything there is to find here. Ooh, one of these. Doesn't seem to be quite the right. So let's fix that. And luckily we have trees as a reference point. I think that's it. Yay! Oh no. After everything I've seen today, why not? Who the hell is that man creature? What does it want from me? Need to get out and hear some human blabbering before I lose my marbles. Oh, saxophone. Maybe it's the instrument I need today to usher all these souls I'm encountering back to the underworld. But it's too loud. Thank you for giving me a name for guaranteeing me at least 24 points in Scrabble. And for that amazing solo in Gone Daddy Gone. I almost forgot that one. Too quiet. I tried to convince Mother to buy me a drum because I had read somewhere that your heartbeats can quite quickly align themselves with drum beats. The answer was no, because attracting attention to our house was worse for me than a slow heart. Too loud. I'm glad I brought my fist whistle. My... Is that what it is? A fist whistle? Oh. Word for a xylophone. Or, yeah. Harmonica is the word I'm looking for. Who's there? I hear you. Come out. Can't see them anymore. The effect from whatever I breathed in at the apartment must be wearing off. And so is my energy for today. Time to go. Where are we? came in through here, there was a break before. Badger hates society, 
and invitations and dinner and all that sort of thing. Rat. Wind in the willows. I must not complain. I must accept the Spartan conditions of my new shabby apartment. The acrid wafts of a dying dog and an ominous presence who seems to have the constitution of an ox and the liveliness of a two-toed sloth. What a strange heartbeat. A flat out hit rock bottom. How did I get here? What have I done with my life, mother? I hope you realize, wherever you are, that you should have shared more with your son about who and what he really is. Raising me in that bubble of hermetic home life did me no favors. Look at me now. I blame you. Still, you're the only one I can share my life with, so I guess you're stuck with me even in the afterlife. Can't exactly complain about not having time now. I'm going to share this so-called apartment with Frank, who happens to, the build, to be the building's superintendent. He left me a room that was a total clusterfuck of old stuff, but at least he warned me about the window. But in between, something strange happened. There was this orange smoke coming from Frank's room, and all of a sudden a burst of energy entered my organism. Entered my... Another word I can't quite read, uh, and lodged directly into my brain like a powerful drug. And that's when everything changed. At first, I was hearing ghostly voices inside the apartment. They never took human form, but it was as though I was witnessing events in their lives. But it only got stranger, and this, my dear mother, affects you directly. I came upon these strange inscriptions on a wall. And from these, another entity came out. But this one talked to me directly, delivering a message from you to warn me that there's some unsavory characters after me and I'm in real danger. It was a hobo by the name of Distant Lover. And to make it even weirder, inside the movie theater, I saw an offbeat apparition that chilled me to the bone. A redneck with a rifle puppet master being through assembling a praxinoscope whence, without warning, came this strange man. See the one the hobo mentioned. I really must ask Frank what kind of drugs he's into and if he can do it outside the house. I don't want any more eerie dead hobos and company appearing to me in the middle of the night. And I need my fix, ASAP. I'm doing it tomorrow. The sun will come out any time now, heading home. Home? Yeah, I guess it will be for a while. Good night, mother. Don't let the worms bite. So, you get to choose one of two notes to pass over to Frank. Yeah, it's got to be the drugs, Frank. Or whatever the fuck that orange smoke is. Mom? Is that you? And there we have it, Frank and Drake, the demo. That was a very interesting little game. Um, definitely some points where it's unclear how to proceed, but I did have a look on the Steam discussion forums and the dev is taking a lot of feedback, so I'll be really interested to see where this goes. With a little bit of polishing on the puzzles, uh, this could be a really, really interesting game, and it's a beautiful art style, so... Uh, check them out. This is on Steam. And if you've enjoyed this, thank you very much for watching. I will see you in the times.